and back for a little bit is Shreveport City Councilman Grayson Butcher. Hey, Mr. Grayson, welcome back to Keels. Is it cold outside yet? We're inside, as you know. It's getting there. It's getting there. The wind sure is picking up, but good morning to y'all. Morning, Grayson. The uh, audit committee meeting today with the legislative, not with the legislative order, but tell us who you're meeting with to hear more about this audit that just got released. Well, we're, we're meeting with uh, with members of the external audit team, uh, which, the, which is a, a company here in Shreveport that does the external audit. They have a contract to do that for the next, I think they're under contract with us for another two years, possibly. They've done it the last two years. Um, and uh, we're going to meet with them and kind of get down into the bare bones of, of what the audit finding was. What's your biggest questions as you looked at all the numbers? Well, I think that there's been a lot of talk about, you know, what, what is our true deficit? Did we did we really have a deficit last year? Um, you know, I'm not an accountant. It, it looks like we did. I mean, I've had that question over and over again from many of our citizens. You know, are, are we really over a million dollars, uh, you know, deficit and it looks like it is, but I want to make sure that I'm asking the, the, but when you know, you, the right question. Let's you know that there's there's a lot of different opinions on how you define that. I don't remember the exact term, but it is like one point zero five four billion with a B dollars. Is that a legit number in your mind in the sense that if you throw in the, the consent decree money we have to spend, if you throw in pension liability, everything else, is it over a billion bucks in debt he's talking about debt yeah not the deficit yeah in debt yeah yeah and i, and I meant to say a billion it was 800 it was 800 million at one point and then it went up to over a billion um <clears throat> you know I, I don't know and and that's one reason that i'm, I'm anxious to, to sit down with uh with the external audit and, and ask those questions I, i'm just like you I'm, I'm kind of a lay person and whenever you throw an audit that size at me i, I really need to to understand exactly what we're talking about um i know that um I know that we have a lot of debt in the city of Shreveport, and that's one thing I've been talking about with the uh, with the bond issue. Um, I, I'm I'm very concerned to add uh, you know uh, additional debt onto us because we we do have an, an extreme amount of debt for a city our size, and, and we know that. But how how deep is it? Um, I really don't know, and that's why that's why we're having this meeting to, to ask these questions. Since you brought it up, the bond issue, I mean, 186 mm -hmm. million dollars. Um, and I'm sure you talk to way more folks than than I do about this because I'm sure they call you. Right. Um, I am finding, and I want you to tell me if this is if this is sort of what you're taking from all of this. The more folks that I talk to on both sides of the political aisle, and I'm not Aaron's been in here for a couple of these conversations. What I'm getting from a lot of folks is not so much. That not so much that, well, I don't trust Adrian or no, not so much that I didn't trust Ollie, but there is something about I don't trust the city. In other words, this bureaucracy, the machine to handle one hundred and eighty six million dollars. Are you hearing that? Do you know what I'm is, is yeah, that I, making I exactly, sense to you? I, I know exactly what you're saying, uh, Robert, uh, in. in it's more of a systemic problem, I think, not not just with whoever the leader is. I think that, um, you know, if you look at the history of, of the bond issues in the past, we've I know Aaron has been brilliant in bringing up some of these past bond issues that the work never was done and things like that. Um, I think that there's just a, a distrust in Shreveport City government right now, and I'm, I'm not sure that that's the mayor's fault or anybody else's fault, previous mayors. I just think it's a distrust. And then I also think that, you know, there is, um, you know, I think people that I'm talking to realize that they're in need. I mean, we have got to get our streets fixed. We've got, you know, a water system that was, uh, you know, our water plant was built in the 1930s. We have fire trucks that were actually bought whenever I was a, a sophomore in high school. I mean, we've got some real issues in this city. And but But the concern that I'm hearing from people is, okay, we give you the approval to do this. Are you really going to do it? And, um, and and it's not that, you know, well, Grayson, I don't think you're going to do it or, you know, Mayor Perkins isn't going to do it. It's just I think that it's just been a, a you know, a several year or, you know, 20, 30 year um, thing that people just don't think that we're going to do what we say we're going to do. And that's that's hard, especially when you have this this horrible audit, um, you know, kind of looming over our heads. But well, Grayson, the, having said, I'm sorry, ahead. the the our last minute here, the the, the concern is. 
we haven't seen much in terms of trimming spending, but we want more debt. And we're up against the clock here, so I'm going to let you answer that quickly. Okay. That was one of my biggest things whenever I voted no for the bond. My biggest thing was I wanted this administration and this council to go through this budget for the first time. That's why I would have preferred this to have been on the ballot in the spring as opposed to putting it on right now. I wanted us to really dig in, roll up our sleeves, and try to do some budget cuts. From what I understand, uh, that that's going to happen. There are going to be some, you know, some cuts coming uh, in this budget that the mayor presents to us. So, um, and then let's get through this audit. And let's get the real facts and find out how bad it really is, and uh, and and let's put some measures in place to take care and make sure that we're not, you know, we're not making the same mistakes we've been making over the last several years.